it isn't hard for me to believe that 20 years have passed. Um, but I think that's partly because I've had children and my daughter is now 22 years old, my eldest. And so, so much life has happened to me um, that, yeah, it absolutely feels like 25 years. And actually for us, it's 27 years because that's how long it was since we started making the film. My most vivid memories, honestly, are that it was incredibly, we had incredibly long, tough hours for everybody. So we had to shoot six day weeks, um, which was very difficult, particularly when we started working at night, because of course the ship sank at night under the night sky, famously clear night. So we had to have perfect weather with no wind at nighttime. And four months of our seven and a half month shoot was at night. So that's really hard when your one day off is, is, a, is, a, is a Sunday, basically. We'd get home from work at 6.30 in the morning on a Sunday. We'd get to sleep and then maybe go and have a bite to eat in the evening. And then on the Monday, we'd be back to work again and back in the same cycle of the nights again for six nights straight. So, so when I look back quite honestly, and for most people who were a part of the making of the film, that's what we all remember. I had seen This Boy's Life and I had seen Gilbert Grape and he had made Romeo and Juliet, but it was only just about to come out. Um, but so, for me, I was just, I was working with this incredible young actor who everyone was talking about in the way that people used to talk about River Phoenix. Leo was that, and, and I was not that at all. And so I kept thinking, oh my gosh, how have I done this? How am I here working with this amazing young actor? And, you know, we were just very good friends and, and we really had to kind of look after each other and look out for one another um, because it was hard, it, you know, it was, it was tough. The biggest challenges in making the film, actually for me personally, was keeping up the American dialect because I'd never done an American accent before. Um, and, I, you know, I had a coach who was there every day, actually, who I still work with to this day whenever I have to do American accents is someone I've now known for 27 years named Susan Hegarty. She's absolutely wonderful. Um, but I look back on the dialect that I did in Titanic. I hear myself speak and I'm like, oh, God, OK, no. <sighs> We could, have, we could have done a lot better. <laughs> I'm like super picky about it now. Um, and I love doing accents, especially the American accents. So I'm like, oh God, that could be, well, why did we let that one slip through? That was not good enough. I think the reason that Titanic kind of stands the test of time is that there is something about the experience for so many people of seeing the film that is bound up in a, in another time in their lives. So the sense of nostalgia and the memories around the place that people might have been in their own lives when it came out, the memories of first seeing it for so many people. I know it was their first date to people who they have since married and have families with. So a lot of sort of swirling romance around the film coming out. And it's very significant for a lot of people, a hugely significant moment in some people's lives.